In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to answer the YEC pass question on graph. Now, you all know that graph is an everyday question. Therefore, you're going to be attempting it this year. So, I'm going to walk you through the steps of plotting a graph and completing the tables of values. And also finding the graph, the solutions to the graph equations. Okay. Now, um, the first thing I will say is if this is your first time of coming to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can get updates from us. Because we are going to be solving several questions which include um, construction, AP and GP, statistics, and so on. Okay, this question says copy and complete the table of values for y is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 10 for minus 5 is less than x is less than 4. Now, notice we've been given our x values and some of the y values have also been given. So, at this point, I'll start preparing my table of values so that I can get what uh, I need to plot my graph. Okay, so uh, to plot my graph, now my equation is actually y is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 10. Now, the first thing I need to do is represent my 2x squared here. Okay, and here's going to be plus x and here's going to be what? Minus 10. Now, for everywhere I have x, I'll substitute the values of x in my equation. That's here I have 2x squared. So, minus 5 squared will give us 25. 25 times 2 is going to give us um, 50. So, um, here, minus 4 squared will give us 16. 16 times 2 will give us um, 32. And this will give us um, 9 times 2, that will be 18. This will be 4 times 2, that will be 8. This will be 1 times 2, that will be 2. This will be 0. So be 2, 8, 18, and uh, 32. Okay, so plus x. Now, to represent our plus x, all we need to do is, uh, this will be, the first one will be plus, there you put your x, minus 5. So this will give you minus 5. The next one will be plus, minus 4. This will give you what? Minus 4. So we're going to have our values running all through, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. This will be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, the last one is the constant. This is just minus 10. Now, whenever you have a constant, you run it through. So, this is going to be minus 10 all through. Okay, so we will run our minus 10 all through our x variables. Okay, now we've gotten that. The last one says y. Now, how do you obtain your y? You get your y by summing, by summing up of 2x squared plus x minus 10. Now, we're going to sum up this value. So, 50 plus this is going to give us a... Um, 50 plus minus 5 will give us 45. 45 plus minus 10 is going to give us a um, 35. So, this will be 32 minus 4. That will be 28. 28 minus 10 will give us 18. And this will be 32 plus 4. That's 36 minus 10 to give us a um, 26. Now, at this point, let's compare the values that we're giving to us. Now you can see when the x when the x was when x was minus three, y was five. Let's check. Okay, that's correct. So you can see it at this point. Okay. So now let's go back and check when x is minus one, is y minus nine? Yes, it's correct. When x is zero, y is minus ten. Is that correct? Yes. And when x is two, y is zero. Now you can see our values are all correct. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to plot our graph. Okay, so we will start plotting our quadratic graph. Okay, we are now a graph and we are asked to use a scale of 2cm represent 1 unit on x and 2cm represent 5 units on y. Okay, this is our graph and um, we are ready to start our plotting. Now, we are going to check um, the tables. So, let's see. Now, it says when x is minus 5, y when x is um, minus 5 y is um, 35 so that means we we'll go back to our graph when x is minus 5 y is 35 so you can see because our graph is small we can't really get the 35 point so let's leave that one out so let's check the next one the next one says when x is minus 4 y is 18 okay so i think that's within our range when x is minus 4 now, y is 18. Now, this is 15. Now, each box here, because we have four box, four box makes up five points. 
So um, that means each box is supposed to be 1.25. Okay, each box is going to be 1.25. So it says when x is um, minus 4, y is 18. So this is minus 4, this is 15. Now this should be 17.5, which is the middle. So um, 18 is going to be somewhere around here. So I'll put my dot here. Okay, that will be where 18 is going to be. Okay, so, okay, so the second point says when x is minus, um, the other point says when x is minus 3, y is going to give us um, 5. So um, when x is um, minus 3, y is going to give us um, 5. So this will be where my dot is going to land. Okay, the next one says when x is minus 2, y is going to give us a minus 4. So this is minus 2. Now, minus 4 is going to fall around here. So this will be uh, minus 2. This is 5. If we subtract, 4 is going to be somewhere around here. Okay. That will be 4. Okay, so the next one says when x is um, minus 1, um, y is going to be minus 9. So this is minus 1, match it to minus 9 will be somewhere around here. And the next one says when x is um, 4, y is going to be 26. So now you can see it's not also within our scale. So 26 is going to be... Okay, wow, that's within our scale. This is 25, so this is 26. So it's going to be somewhere around, um, that will be here. Let me drop my pen. It's going to be somewhere around there. Okay, so at this point, we are going to, um, at this point, we are going to join our curve. So now you use your broom and join your curve. So... Um, I'm going to be joining my curve, so now, okay, we finally succeeded in joining our curve. Okay, so this is the curve for our graph. So now you can see, this is what the curve of our graph is going to look like. And why is our graph a U-shape? You can see from our question that we have a positive X. If you have a negative X, your graph is going to be an N-shape. So now we have our graph. Now let's look at the next question. The next question says, okay, draw a graph of Y is equal to 2X. 4 minus X is less than X is less than 4. Okay, so that will be the next item we are going to work on. Okay, so now we want to plot the graph of um, y is equal to 2x on this. So um, I'll put my 2x here. This will be 2 times minus 5. That will be minus 10. This will be minus 8, minus 6. This will be uh, minus 4. This will be minus 2. This will be 0. This will be 2, 4, 6, and 8. So my y, I'm going to sum it up. This will be minus 15, minus 12, this will be minus 9, this will be minus 6, this will be minus 3, this will be 0, this will be 3, this will be 6, 9, and 12. Okay, so at this point, we will start plotting our straight line graph. So now we are finished with our table of values for the straight line graph, we will proceed to plotting the graph. Now the first point says, when x is minus 5, y is going to be minus 15. Now let's look from our graph. Um, x is minus 5, y is going to be minus 15. So it's going to be at this um, point. So I'll put my dotted line at this point. Okay, then the next one says when x, when x is uh, minus 4, y is going to be minus 12. So minus 4, corresponds with the uh, minus 12. So this is minus 10, uh, minus 12. The middle is going to be 
um, 12.5. So minus 12 is going to be somewhere around here. Somewhere here. Next one, when x is 2, y is going to be 6. So if this is 5, this is um, 6.25. So 6 is going to be somewhere around here, yeah, just before 6. So the last one says um, when x is 4, um, y is going to be 12. So this is 4 and um, this is 10, this is 12.5. So 12 is going to be somewhere here. Okay, so at this point, I need to now join my graph. So I'm going to use a straight line, a ruler, and join all the straight lines. You can see how my graph is going. It's a straight line. Okay, now we've got my straight line graph. Now, this is a... Um, okay, so... um. At this point, the next question says, use your graph to find the solutions of 2x plus x is equal to 10. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you, um, solution of y is equal to 2x squared plus x is equal to 10. Sorry, um, we're, given, we're asked to find the solution of 2x squared plus x equal to 10. Now, notice from your graph, uh, we plotted a graph of, at this point, if you look at this equation, now collect like terms, this will be 2x squared plus x, plus 10 coming over becomes minus 10, gives us 0. So it's telling you where does your graph equate 0 on the y-axis. Remember, our equation was y is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 10. So where is our graph equal to 0 on the y-axis? Now, where does our graph cut across 0? So let's go back to our graph. Now, check where is y0. y is 0 at 2 points. That is here. This is point 0.1. Um, I think I need to use a straight line. It's here. Good. And um, here. So this is going to be minus 2. This will be um, minus 2 point. This will be minus 2 point. Okay. Remember, each box here, it's going to be 1.25. That's 0 0.25. So this is minus 2. This will be um, minus 2.25. This will be uh, minus 2.5. So it's going to be minus 2.5 and um, 2. So at this point, at this point, uh, solution of equation equation is at okay that will be x equal to minus 2.5 and x equal to 2 remember we traced where our graph became 0 so it became 0 at 2 and it became 0 at what 2.5 okay so the next question says um Find the graph of the solution 2x squared plus x minus 10 is equal to 2x. Now, it says uh, 2x squared plus x minus 10 is equal to 2x. Now, if you recall that we plotted two graphs in this question. Now, it's telling you where does the graph of your curve, where does your curved graph meet your straight line graph? Now, so we will check where does our two graph intersect. Now, let's check. This is the first meeting point. So, let's trace this down. So, this is point one. Now, where is the second meeting point? It's going to be this point. 
So we trace it down. So now let's read from our graph. Now this is 1.25, this is 1.5, so this is going to be minus 1.75. Why this is going to be 2.75? Okay, so um, now tracing it from our graph, you've already seen that solution of the equation Solution of the equation equation is going to be now just like we trace it from our graph, it will be at x equal to minus 1.75 and x equal to 2.75, just like we saw from our graph. Now, so we saw that here is 2.75, and here is going to be minus. 1.75 so that is exactly how to solve your graph question and answer all the questions another question that could come out you could be asked to draw a tangent and find the slope so you should understand how to draw your tangent a straight line that will touch the point then you calculate your slope i don't think if you understand this graph question very well i don't think you're going to encounter any challenge in graph please Study this topic. Study it. And if you don't understand it, please drop it on the comment section for us. And please do not fail to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can get updates from us. Thank you and stay tuned as we release more videos.